Jackie, how are we feeling today? <laughs> today is important because we need to see the visibility of dykes and lesbians in Toronto and worldwide. Thousands of people made their way to the intersection of Hayden Street and Church Street for this year's Dyke March, a rally that focuses on inclusion. There are no spaces for dykes and lesbians in Toronto. Uh, there are many bars for men, so we are hoping that by keeping the visibility happening that spaces will be created for us. And we're also trying to create spaces for ourselves. We're not waiting for people to do it for us, but we need to be working in partnership with people who already have the spaces to make room for us. Many people came out today because it is a safe space for them to be themselves. I think it's important for everybody to feel safe and comfortable in their own body. And I am lucky enough to work in a place where I can be whoever I want but a lot of people aren't that lucky. Um, Pride's been important to me since I realized I was bisexual when I was a teenager. Um, I went to a Catholic school, it wasn't very inclusive, so um, I like to be loud and proud and represent my community. Uh, my country, Iran, is an occupied country by one of the most brutal governments of the history called the Islamic Republic. Dorney Sadari spoke at the rally today, letting people know that while people have the freedom to express themselves here, some are not so lucky. So because uh, my queer siblings are fighting against, uh, fighting for their basic rights back home in Iran and, and risking their lives. So I just wanted to be, they're the voice, I just wanted to be their echo and uh, just say that this revolution will win. And we are with them in diaspora, we hear them, we see them. While today is a day of fun and celebration, many are echoing that there is still a need to fight for equality in this world, something Pride Month is all about. And if Friday and today left you wanting more, don't fret. The party continues with the main event on Sunday with colorful floats, glittery costumes and great music. The Toronto Pride Parade will take over the city. The parade kicks off at 2 p.m. at Church and Bloor and marches its way down Young and wraps up at Nathan Phillips Square, where festivities will continue through the night. As you can imagine, there will be lots of road closures. Church Street is closed from Dundas to Hayden Street for the entire weekend for the street fair, which has music stages and vendors. As for Sunday's parade, the same streets will be closed from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. There will be also plenty of viewing areas all along the route. And for anyone planning to use the subway to get to the parade, the closest stops are located at the Bloor, Young, Wesley and College, Dundas and Queen stations. Several streetcar and bus routes will also be affected between the hours of 12.30 and 7 p.m., including the 501 Queen. For more info, you can visit our website at citynews.ca.